Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about The Midnight Hour, which is, I believe, an ABC made-for-TV movie that was uh, from the mid-80s, I think 85. I was made aware of this movie's existence because of Dice Roland posting about it on Facebook. So thank you so much, Dice. You are amazing. If you don't already, please follow Dice Roland's channel on YouTube. We will post a link for that down below. The movie has every stereotypical character you would expect in an, like the high school setting with the jock and the popular girl and then of course the guy who's kind of dorky that's in love with the girl who doesn't really realize he's in love with her and you know how it goes. We find out during a presentation that the group of friends are all kind of descended from witch hunters and black magic priestesses, and this is, of course, you know, kind of Salem witch trial -y vibes, and they decide to break into a museum where their ancestors' garments are being displayed to steal them and then go into a cemetery, read a parchment, and of course you know what happens. Bad things, obviously, or else we'd have no plot for this movie. So after reading said parchment paper, the dead come back to life and are roaming around and of course their ancestors are also roaming around and may not be what we think they are initially but it is a good time and it is an interesting watch and it also makes you question um, chaperones because there's a substitute teacher that shows up to the party that they're throwing who's just like hey where's the wine I want to get lit you know so I'm going to leave it off there as this is spoiler free, but you kind of know where the story's going. Um, what did I like about this movie? I like that there was a decent amount of effort put into the makeup for the zombies. Some of the vampire characters are very cheesy and that, you know, isn't a downside for me because I want schlocky 80s horror and this gave it to me. And I enjoyed that there was this one character, Sandy, who is brought back and she's just a sweet cheerleader from the 50s and uses all the lingo and they keep commenting like, wow, you're really committed and your costume's great. And she's like, whatever, let's go cruising, you know, and she's so sweet. And I love the relationship between her and our main character, whose name I cannot remember, but like... Ah, uh, so precious. What did I dislike about this movie? I felt like the pacing was a bit off. There were a lot of things that I personally didn't need in it, and the story could have been, you know, pushed a little faster through, but I understand this is probably, again, because it is a made-for-TV movie. But I would probably give this like a 3.5 out of 5. I had a really good time watching it. There's a really interesting dance sequence in it which I was not expecting, but pleasantly surprised. It's so cheesy. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? I'd love to know. Leave me some comments down below. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can hit the like button if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like made for TV movies. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo and reviews with the groom are also available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to follow all of their awesome creators and view their content as well. And uh, it's about the noon hour, so I'm going to get out of here. See you later, guys. Happy Halloween. Oh, 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 oh,